Welcome to Electric Evolution with Liz Allen. This podcast is about the journey to a more sustainable future in order for us to be able to do our bit to achieve net zero. I'll be discussing a variety of topics with experts in their field in order to educate and increase our knowledge of clean energy, electric vehicles and the electric vehicle infrastructure. So whether you're an individual wanting to make a difference at home, a small business or a corporate, this podcast is just for you. So hello and welcome to the first episode of Electric Evolution with me, Liz Allen. And I just want to say a big thank you to all of you for joining me on this journey. And I've called it Electric Evolution because this is all about my journey with you, the viewer and the listener, to understand more about clean and renewable energy, electric vehicles and the electric vehicle infrastructure as well. So I'm intending to bring in a number of sector um, specialists who are able to provide us with context and information about what we can do in order to meet net zero. And actually, it's not just about the big things that we can do. I want to talk to you about the little things that we can do as well. So just a little bit to give you some background to who the heck I am. My name's Liz Allen and I am a business improvement training consultant and mentor. I'm based in Reading. I'm originally from West Yorkshire, been up there. It's a long time since I've been up there, but actually a long time ago, I became a bit of an advocate for change. I didn't really have a choice because I was involved in a car crash when I was 18 and It took a long time for me to get better. And bizarrely enough, I've never been scared of cars. And I love love our car that we've got at the moment. But I know that we need to change it because at the moment our car is is petrol. So it's an internal, it has an internal combustion engine. So that actually means that we're polluting. And I'm actually married to a professor of climate change. He's called Richard Allen. And obviously for us as a family, it's not really a good thing to be polluting the atmosphere. But not only that, we're looking at a variety of other things that we want to do in the house, where I am talking to you from at the moment. And we're looking at different energy sources to try and start moving maybe towards being off the grid if possible. So I want to talk to people who are supplying solar panels, who are involved in the infrastructure for that, who are looking, um, who are providing air source heat pumps and things like that. So and also I want to understand about the electric vehicle infrastructure, because if I buy an electric vehicle or I lease an electric vehicle, I need to know these things. And I'm sure for those of you that haven't got one, or haven't got solar panels, or haven't got an air source heat pump, these things might be things that you're thinking of, maybe not necessarily now, but hopefully long term, as we're all trying to do our bit to get to net zero. And when it comes to cars, as you probably know, petrol and diesel cars will no longer be manufactured from 2030. So there are lots of people who are having to look at different ways to drive around. So this is what my this is what my podcast is all about. So as you know, there is a lot of change going on. And what I'd say to you from the industry that I come from, which is continuous improvement or business improvement, not everybody likes change. Like I said to you, I'm an advocate of change because I didn't have a choice when I was younger. And that's not what this podcast's about. I'm not trying to pull on your heartstrings or anything like that. I'm just trying to say that that I might be different to maybe a few of you out there because I like change. Change kind of gives me a buzz. And, but you know, it's things that I want to do to move me and my family and my business towards that change that's that's happening because we can't put our heads in the sand for too long because it is happening. There are targets that we as the UK have to kind of apply and comply with and we need to make sure that that that, that works, that we're doing what we can. 
Now, not everybody, I know, not everybody can afford to do the big things like buy solar panels or air source heat pumps or an electric vehicle. And I'm talking to you from somebody who we're look, not looking at these things overnight. We're looking at these things long term. So I want to know this. I want to know the things that actually give me the power to make that um, that make that decision responsibly and to understand what is what's actually out there. So my point for this is to be able to share this knowledge with you. It's not just for me, I, I'm really into into sharing knowledge. So I want to make sure that as I learn, I can help you understand these things. At the moment of this recording of this first podcast, I've not actually even driven an electric vehicle. I'm quite gutted about that. Yeah, but I am looking for electric vehicle drive days because I want to experience it because at the moment I've got no frame of reference well, what driving an electric vehicle is like. I've heard lots about it and I'm interviewing people currently who are very much drivers of electric vehicles. But these are the things that, that I want to learn. So I'm hoping that you can come with me on this journey and just listen to these experts that I'm bringing in on these sessions because I think you'll find it really, really interesting. I have to say I'm learning loads already. These people know their stuff. And I'll make sure that I ask them questions that will help you learn more. We can always make we can all make these decisions together, these informed decisions about what we can do, even if it's something little. So I look forward to you joining me on this journey and I will see you every week and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. You've been watching Electric Evolution with Liz Allen. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon and you'll receive all of our weekly videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.